Well, it's game week here in New Orleans as the New Orleans Saints prepare to take on the Minnesota Vikings. I'm Caroline Gonzalez, joined by Todd Graffiniani, and this is the Afternoon Wrap. Well, we were here in the Austria Sports Performance Center in the indoor today for the Saints practice where we saw Drew Brees out today for today's practice, but we surely saw Teddy Bridgewater step up in his place. No question about it. I, I thought, Caroline, that Teddy Bridgewater had his best practice maybe as a New Orleans Saint. Uh, there weren't too many balls that hit the ground today, and just uh, talking about it with the local media, it, the confidence, the accuracy, it just seems to get better and better, and he's really working his way in. I don't know about you, but I can't wait to see him perform on Friday uh, against another team because obviously he's going against his teammates, but uh, you would think he's going to play at least a half, possibly three quarters of football. And uh, if he can back up what he has done in practice on, on the field, there are going to be a lot of excited Saints fans. Drew Brees not participating in today's practice, as well as Alvin Kamara, which led to other players stepping up in his place, including Latavius Murray. Yeah, Latavius again continues to get better after you know he sat out a little while with with injury, but. Uh, Look, when, when a Camara sits out and when a Breeze sits out, those guys behind them, they got to take advantage because they're going to get reps. Of course, Taysom Hill had a lot of reps at quarterback today as well. So it, it's, uh, it's that time of the year now as the games are going to start where you can really start to impress a coaching staff on film. And we saw a little bit of that prep today as the Saints covered situational offense and defense. They also did a little bit of special teams coverage. We saw Darren Rizzi really getting in there with special teams, a lot more coaching than we've seen in the past. No question about it. And we're starting to see a little more time uh, with the special teams periods. And Coach Rizzi's doing a great job. Uh, today they kind of went uh, kickoff coverage with, with Will Lutz not kicking the ball and just making sure everybody was in their blocking lanes. But you know, you talked about those situational uh, spots, and, and Coach Payton does that every single practice. If you go after a team period, they have a situational period where today uh, you, you think about these things, you kind of take them for granted. Where uh, you had the quarterbacks taking a knee, you call the victory formation, that's to wrap up the clock in the fourth quarter. They worked on that today. Uh, they worked on a hard count as far as a quarterback trying to draw the defensive line off sides. They work on those things. When you see them in a game, you realize, well, they're not doing that on a whim. They practice it. And you never know when things like that win a ball game for you. And of course, today, to wrap up practice, we had a quick two-minute drill. I mean, I think we can both agree that the defense won today, but it was a good competition getting ready into, into, to go into game week. Yeah, and Coach Payton mentioned the thing about today's practice after last night's really very good practice as he talked about it with the media today. You want to follow up a practice like you had last night at Tulane with another one here today and they did that and what you really want to see are both sides of the ball getting it done. You don't want to see one side dominate another because obviously that means the other side's got to get better but the defense did have uh, a little bit of an advantage at the end of the two minute period but both sides did good things this afternoon. Let's go ahead and hear from Sean Payton on what he had to say about practice today. Yeah I mean I thought Look, we had a number of periods. We had a third down period um, to take a peek at the tape. Uh, I thought the defense did pretty well in the two-minute drill at the end. Um, I thought I thought the practice coming off the of last. I thought last night was one of our uh, better practices, and I felt um, I felt like they followed up today with another good practice on both sides of the ball. So uh, you know, there'll be a little time now where they're off. We're kind of into our Tuesday off day and uh, kind of go from there. One. Well, the Saints will take tomorrow off and return to practice here at the Austin Sports Performance Center on Wednesday as they prepare to take on the Minnesota Vikings. For Todd Graffinini, Caroline Gonzalez, thanks for tuning in to the Afternoon Wrap.